My name is Tom Gardner. I'm a journalist based in Ethiopia. This project was undertaken with Charlie Rosser, a photographer. It's two articles for The Guardian, two separate but related articles about Ethiopian development and what some see as the crisis in the Ethiopian developmental state. The first article looks at the Ethiopian Djibouti Railway, which started commercial operations this year, and it's sort of one of maybe two or three flagship infrastructure projects in Ethiopia today, and symbol of the developmental aspirations of the Ethiopian government. The developmentalism is the, uh, the, the ideology of the, the ruling Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front, which is a sort of East Asian-style, top-down developmental agenda consisting of big infrastructure projects like the railway, like the dams, like uh, industrial parks. Our reporting along the railway involves speaking to communities who, are, who have been affected by the construction of the railway and who are also hoping to see development as a result of the railway. The idea was to look at the developmental state from below as concerns around land and land seizures, often heavy-handed implementation of the government's vision, and how development is often, like the railway scene, is passing communities by. The second story involves travelling to Djibouti and travelling north from Djiboutiville to the fishing town of Obok where each month thousands of Ethiopian, primarily men but also women, traverse some of the most inhospitable land on earth in the hope of crossing to Yemen and eventually reaching Saudi Arabia in the hope of jobs and, and money to send back home to their, to their families. And this story is another way of looking at the developmental state in Ethiopia and the crisis of developmentalism in Ethiopia. The young men, and it was predominantly young men that we met on the incredibly the hot, dangerous road north to the town of Obok were cited mainly oppression and economic frustration as their reasons for leaving their homes. Some of them had left friends in the desert. Uh, some of them had seen their friends die. I mean, it's a story of real desperation and gives another kind of insight into the underbelly of developmentalism in Ethiopia today.